So in this video, we're going to be looking at different ways you can send data along with your HTTP request in HTMX. Uh, let's start first on our server side. Let's um, create a new endpoint. Let's create a new endpoint for that. Just copy the message endpoint and paste it because I need something close to that. And I'm just going to say, um, I'm just, just going to call this echo, echo um, payload. Uh, just something just describe what it does because it's basically just going to um take the request data and just tell us what it is just going to tell us what it is so um we're going to be for almost all our for all our examples not almost for all our examples we're just going to be sending a username and a password yeah username and a password so um i'm going to in this div we're going to just spit out those two uh, i'm going to say Let's say const email. No, sorry. <laughs> const email. That should be rec dot body dot email. And for the password, just say pass equals rec dot body dot pass. So in our hypermedia, in the hypermedia that's going to be returned, we have a div. And that will just basically tell us email. Give this like a bold tag. Say so email, and the email is just going to be the value of our email. That will be email, and we have a comma there, and we'll do the same thing for password. So I'm just going to copy this. Uh, say some typing. Let's put this aside. Some typing and password would be pass so we have email password and we have them sent back to us so it's just going to echo back the payload so we have that on the server that's good um so let's let's just make sure that we we start the server so that all those changes can kick in we have the server restarted we have our new endpoint which i'm just going to copy now echo payload the post request post endpoint that's all good so back let's go into our html and start writing some stuff so the first way you can uh, send data the first and i don't know whether to call it the easiest way or like the more conventional way you can send data along with a request in HTMX is to make sure that you enclose the requesting element that's the element that is going to be making the request the element that has the hx get or hx put or hx put or hx delete you enclose it in a form tag you en enclose it in a form tag so let's say we have a button that's going to make the request so we have this button that's going to make the request and um yeah so this button makes the request it just says submit button says submit and it makes the request by calling the hx post targeting our server localhost 1330 for slash echo payload so it calls the server so it does that it's going to trigger by default uh with the uh click event so like i said if you want to add data to this request you want to add data to this request we enclose it in a form tag we enclose it in a form tag so let's say form so form yeah so we just remove the action we don't need that so the form and uh, we take the button and put it inside our form so our form wraps the button and to send data we just add some form element let's add an input element uh type text yeah that's fine um you can say email to be more specific then the name is where yeah this, this is what is important that's the name of the variable that we'll be sending so we call this email as we are expecting it at the back end so this will be the email um let's add a placeholder there just to yeah, enter email so an email and uh, let's break and just below it let's copy the email and add another field for password the type is going to be i'm just going to say text i'm not <laughs> there's no need to cover it up so this will be pass because that's what we expect at the back end we expect a variable called pass or a property called pass and the place where that will be enter password enter password and just to stick the response somewhere else, I'm going to create the usual response div. 
down here with an id of response and i'm going to give this button the hx target so that i can just load the response into the div with an id of response so yeah we have this you're very familiar with this already you know what it does it just sends an 83 request to this endpoint but the new thing now is that we want to send data we want to send data along with this uh, request and we are going to do that by enclosing it in a form tag by enclosing it in a form tag and with that hmx will recognize that you want to send along these values with a request so that's the first type that's the first way so let's get into action let's see how this works um to our browser it's refresh so we have sending data that's the file we're working from sender.html uh, and we have a network tab open here so i can monitor stuff and our server uh yeah our server just returns yeah our server returns the app media so that's that's all good so here i'm going to enter email i'm going to say um x at a dot com and the password will be htmx rocks htmx rocks htmx rocks so x at a dot com htmx rocks now let's press the submit button and see what happens so we have it right uh yep and then we get it back we get the response back but it's kind of it's saying undefined for some reason maybe there's a problem with the server code um but we have here we have uh, we can inspect stuff here our echo uh, echo payload goes through but if we check our payload we see that we send this to yeah we sent this to but they're undefined so something is happening on our server end let's check do i have body parser here yeah we have body parser um json vector body json let's see oh it's sending form data it's sending us form data so how do we get form data from how do we get from data from um from node.js so uh we are it seems we're only accounting for um body parser to give us json but we need to set up um what will help us get from data so we'll just say app.use then we say body parser then we say url encoded body parser url encoded and we put a curly braces and say extended true yeah so this will account for form data requests so yeah we have this middleware set up let's save it um we need to refresh our we need to refresh our um or restart our back end so let's restart our back end we have it running again uh we'll go back to our front end let's refresh this Refresh, refresh, refresh. We say x at a dot com. Password is going to be htmx works. Save, send that. Yep, and we get it back. So that's fixed. We get our email and our password back, and you can see it here. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. That's good. So that's the first way you can send data using htmx now let's say you don't want to use a form let's say you don't want to use a form you want to just pass like a json object in line you want to pass values in line yep you can also do that in hmx uh because there is not every scenario this form will be uh, applicable to having a form tag around you can just even look very very ugly in your code so let's um comment this out and look at another way where we can do that i'm still going to steal this button from here to the button from here and I, i'm still pointing to my um, endpoint i'm still targeting where i want to target which is this response div that's where the response will be loaded now in order to add values in line let's just add a json let's just just add a json object and send it uh we're going to be using the hx vows attribute yeah the hx vows attribute once you want to do anything new in htmx an attribute comes through yeah you always have an attribute so hx vows and inside these hx, HX vows we can put in our json now um i'm going to make this single quote because i want my json to have double quotes so let's say email so our email is um yeah our email, oh no no that's no, email colon then i'll put the value of my email that's in double quotes uh email is x at a.com 
comma then password we have pass and that will be um htmx works again <laughs> oh so yeah hx vows and hx vows is going to take a uh json string yeah because J json string and once you have that you can save now you see this in line no form tag no input form controls and all that is just your json so let's see how this works uh let's refresh so now we have just the button and we have the value embedded in line now let's click submit boom it goes gives uh makes a request and it gives us yep yep gives us our values again HMX works again email yeah so that's how you can send that's how you can um send data in line uh if you would need to add maybe like a dynamic variable here within your request there's a way to also do that in HMX. so um you can to do that you can add the js prefix you can add the js prefix to the front of your json you can say js yeah js like this then let's say instead of this password i call a function called get password get password a get password is not defined yet so let's just go up here let's let's add some javascript in the add script function function is get password and let's say takes no params and just simply return HTMX rocks again and again. Just returns this string HMX rocks again and again. Let's see how this works. So we've defined a function and we've called the function here. We've added our JS uh, prefix JX and a colon. Yeah, so JS and a colon. That's how you do it. So let us put this to test and hope everything goes fine. Let's refresh. We have our submit button fresh the hell out of it and click submit and yeah we get it hmx rocks again and again it called our function it returned the password and yeah we're still able to get the same result in pass values yeah so you can see that's how you can add a javascript expression into your json your inline json so yeah that's another way the third way there's a third way you can include data and it's in uh when when you have a situation whereby you want to click a button to send a, a request but then there's this there's this input field somewhere there's this input field somewhere that has a value um the input field is not around the button it's not probably not close to the button or it doesn't just feel structurally uh that's html wise it doesn't feel structurally um it doesn't make sense structurally to have them as maybe descendants of each other or as um uh, siblings yeah side by side it doesn't just make sense but you want to pick the value in that particular input uh, input uh, ta uh input field and add it to your request there's also a way to do that so let's let's for that let's clear this let's clear this uh let's remove it so we're going to be still going to call the same endpoint same response and stuff like that um this one will only work for one so probably get the other value as undefined uh it was only going to work for one value so let's say there's an input tag somewhere let's say down here they just just input field let's give it the name of email and um yeah type text yeah that's fine type text id let's give it an id because we're going to be needing the id so let's give it an id let's give it an id of um let's say my email field yeah my email field like that come out case so my email field let's give it this id so we have the button here on its own and we have the input here and this bit can be anywhere it can, it can even be beside the button if you want but it can be anywhere but you don't want to use a form tag and the input is is probably not structurally uh it doesn't make sense structurally for it to be around the button or something like that you can target it you can target it from this button and you can do that using something called the h x include attribute the hx include attribute and what that does is it just takes a selector that targets the field so my input field has that's the id my input field so it just targets this input field so it's going to take whatever is in this input field and tag it along with this request we tag it along with this request and it's, it's going to be in the payload of this post request 
So let's test that out. Let's save the page and test that out. So um, let's go back to the page, refresh. So we have that input here. Yeah, it can be anywhere on the page. So we we say yeah, um, J at company dot com. J at company dot com. And we submit. It sends it, and you see the email is J at company dot com. Uh, password is undefined because we didn't send any password. Here's our post request. All the characteristics of a post request. Payload is our email. The response is our hypermedia and all sorts. So that's how you can target yeah, an input field that is that you don't want to use a form tag, but you can still target an input field. Or the input field is not close by, close enough for you to use a form tag, but you just want to pick the value in it and send it along with a request. Yep, that's how you do it in HTMX. And if you check the HMX documentation, there are also also some uh, relative CSS uh, properties like closest, like next, like previous that you can actually use to select the particular um, input to include in your request. So uh, those are the three ways. We explore the three ways: um, the form tag. Yeah, we looked at the um, we removed that now, but we also looked at the HX vowels. Yeah, HX vowels. Um, and now we use HX include. Use HX include to include our. Um, our request or rather our a value a property in our post request to be sent along as the payload so that's how you send data along with your request in htmx